as much as you all may not want to see another drafting engine, I'm going to do this one here in SketchUp just to kind of show you how layering and the grouping work in this program. I'm just going to do a simple 30 by 30 foot. Taking that there. I've taken my um, box out here. I click here. Now I can post. After doing that, I can type in 30 feet, comma, 30 feet. So conceptually, you get in your bit there. Now I'm going to want those to be grid lines. I don't really need the middle of that on, but if I maybe I do, so I'm going to go ahead and right click, make that a group. And then on top of that, I can go here and start to deal with layers and make a couple of layers here. I'm going to make one calling my ground plane, ground plane and grid. So now when I grab this thing, it will put it on, will put it on. ground plane and grid. And later on you're going to see there's a lot to naming things. But that said, makes it a little bit easier now. I'm going to go ahead and just do a basic, very, very basic structure. I'm going to make my columns just concrete 12 by 12 inch columns. They look something then like this. And start with taking putting them there. I'm going to go one foot, comma, one foot. And now because I've drafted on that ground plane there, I'm also going to go ahead and put in there's no points you can put into this thing, but later on we're going to go ahead and put in a, a, a snap point to it when we define it. We're going to make those columns straight up 9 foot. We grab this, do my push, 9 foot. And in reality, we really would like, in the end, that to have a, a point down below. So I'm going to take that, I've clicked across it, I'm going to right click, and I'm going to make it a component. I'm going to call it column. I am going to set my component axes. I'm just going to create the column right now and not set the component axis. I'm going to take and move that out to the side a little bit. I would like to really, when I define things, you'd like to define them at the center there. So I can go inside of that component and just draft a line right across here. That's going to help for later. And I'll go ahead and draft another line across here. Realistically, the next thing you might want to do is come back and change your base plate. But that said, I can go ahead now on that component, change the entity info, edit the component, and I'm going to mess up on having, I should have done that first when I went through. So that said, we'll just go ahead and deal with that. We're going to go ahead now with this here, and we're going to actually go inside of that and get those lines on there. So I'm going to erase this, erase this, and erase that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click inside. That's a, like a block edit. I'm going to go from here to here. That's going to give me that midpoint. Might be better even to have done something like this a circle at the midpoint there. Whatever you want to do within that. So now I'm going to go ahead and move my component. You grab. Grab the point you want to grab to, and if you notice there, lots going on. The center point is there. I'm going to go to there, and I've grabbed it on the set, that grid line. Okay, grid lines usually are going to be column lines. I'm going to go across to the top now, and I can then, here's how you do an array in this program. You select, you hit the move or the rotate, hit control key and move it the distance you want. You can type in the distance, 30 feet. You could also then say 10 times and have an array going up the column, or going up that grid line. So pretty much, you can lay out a pretty quickly and efficiently the concept of your building. And that comes pretty nicely into Revit. And once again, we're going to now going to move these, grab this and this. Remember, you're holding a shift key to grab things like in most programs. Then you grab your tool, hit the control key and telling it then the 30 feet. Now with all that said, remember that ground plane. And you'll see pretty soon it's going to be important to get in probably AutoCAD, but perhaps SketchUp to do a lot of this next work. I'm now going to lay in, first I'm going to lay in the flooring and then I'll lay in the framing. So I'm going to lay in the flooring by basically I'm going to just make it a six inch floor it kind of likes to find. It's going to kind of find. It's going to kind of find what you want there, though in the end it might not. So then you can kind of do things like take that, 
shift it use the, with the control key from there to there and it will kind of get rid of that other line if you notice those lines come through but the reality they are not going to break up the line here because they are a grid all right so what we're going to do is we're going to give that a six inch thickness you grab the face you can type p for push or that that's the extrude tool p for push i'm just going to make it 0.5 feet that in the end is going to be my flooring and so now this is of course where you want to start getting your layering going pretty quickly so right away making things into groups very quickly the first thing i'm going to do here just don't want to grab that you want to group things group 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 and component just like block but even more important in a lot of these programs to group things out i'm going to right hit click here excuse me make a group and then realistically even go back to here layers and level one floor now what I've got to do here is I'm going to go ahead and change the entity info so that is on the level one floor which means going to make it a little bit easier here in a second when I want to go back now and do my framing depending on how your frame is going to work from column to column you can go ahead and turn off the level one floor once you go back to layer zero all right so now you're back to here now you can kind of think about I'm just going to go and do it very simply here I'm going to go ahead and draft to start right a box that's one by one or two by one right and that could or might not be right but I'll go ahead with that that box I can go ahead and rotate it by grabbing selecting I hold the shift key over a face that lets me grab there grab my first and take it down same thing here because things are grouped in this program it makes it a little bit easier I'm going to go down to here to here I now have something I can push that of course is a girder later on you can do mortise and tendon there's a lot of woodworkers using this program there's a big open face this and Revit have the really huge communities I'm going to tell you from what I have read Revit City is supposed to be incredibly good I'm going to grab all this sometimes it's easier when you grab across this time once again right click you might want to make this one a component what you might call that you might be your girder a lot of components a lot of the block axes seem to be relatively good you got girder there we're going to go ahead and in fact now we've got that girder we can go ahead and copy it we can do all kinds of different things with it you grab grab your tool take it across hold your control key to do a copy tends to like to grab more or less correctly now in this case those are the girders this next bit really wouldn't be a girder they would be a actually an exterior beam so even though you're going to bring in the same component you might want to go through here and do beams right and these in fact are supposed to be on what layer these in fact are supposed to be on the girder layer so when we do entity info they're on layer zero which they're not supposed to be so you need to make another layer girders maybe level one and then joists or beams and it's probably a better idea to use G, uh, beams beams is already done so we just leave it there so we're going to grab this grab the two of them together entity info put them on the layer girder now realistically I'm going to make this next one a little bit smaller going across even though you look how long the span is it probably might or might not you're going to be talking about and we're going to make this actually tie right in there so I'm going to actually go ahead and draft here this time take it down I'm going to make it more like 1 comma 0.5 and once again because these things were made it's going to be really easy to go through here push it all the way through to the edge and then right away make a group or a component in this case we'll go ahead and make a component I'm going to grab that up you know unclick what you don't want unclick what you don't want right click make a component and then beam I'll just do a create 
we'd like that eventually to be on the right layer, which would be Beam. So we can go plugins, I'm sorry, window entity info, almost done. Beams. And then in the end, we can do an array. This time you'll see the array. We're going to grab this, hit the control key or the move key, move it the distance we want. Maybe that distance on center was six feet and then say maybe five times. Five, five, five times. All right. And you're good. Thanks for listening.